Recognized, Emily of Arden, D-1-2. Hello team, and welcome to Intel Update number 19. It's the start of a new year and the end of the first half of Young Justice Phantom, so we thought it would be the perfect time to update you all on what's in store for Whelmed in the coming months. So, let's jump in. Happy New Year, Justice League. Now I should have done this a long time ago. No kidding. First, some YJ news. As I'm sure our listeners already know, the mid-season finale of Young Justice Phantoms premiered just a couple weeks ago, meaning that the first half of season four has already aired. Young Justice is now on hiatus, as it has so often been before, but it is set to return in just a few months. Greg Weissman has said on Twitter that the second half of Phantoms will begin airing in the spring, although no exact release date has been announced just yet. Young Justice has also not yet been picked up for a fifth season. Greg Weissman, as well as many other members of the YJ creative team and cast, have urged fans to keep binging YJ, to keep the ratings high, and continue to prove that there is enough interest in the show to renew it for another season. Last month, the fandom even organized the hashtag Renew Young Justice campaign on Twitter, using the hashtag to urge HBO Max and Warner Brothers to officially renew the show for season five, succeeding in getting the hashtag trending on Twitter for a bit throughout the day. Though, again, no official renewal has yet to be announced. Along with watching and re-watching all three and a half seasons of the show on HBO Max, Greg Weissman has mentioned on Twitter that buying the YJ tie-in comic paperbacks or other official merchandise for the show can't hurt in the renewal campaign efforts, though keeping viewership numbers high on HBO Max is the key component here. So, if you need something to do during the hiatus, consider re-watching Young Justice from the beginning. Maybe even keep an eye out for all the fun Easter eggs that have now played a part in season four. Now, on to some whelmed business. Since our last Intel update, we've had quite a few new patrons pledged us on Patreon, so we want to give you all a quick shout out. To our top tier, we welcome Turn Gunpla. To the Beta Squad, we welcome Harrison Woodward and Christopher Jones. To the Gamma Squad, we welcome Venser and John Craig. And to the Delta Squad, we welcome Ollie Knight, Dylan Castillo, Cakes, Jack Huber, and Kell's Kitchen. Thank you all so much. And whether you are a brand new patron or have been with us for ages, we just want to thank you so much for your support. The funds we get through our Patreon pay for our podcast hosting fees, to keep our website up and running, for editing software and video chat subscriptions, and help us afford recording equipment whenever ours breaks or needs an upgrade. It means a lot to know we have people looking out for us and helping to make sure we can afford to keep making Whelmed. If you'd like to become a patron, you can find us at patreon.com slash crashing the mode. Any tier level will get you a shout out in one of our next Intel updates, as well as access to our Whelmed Patreon Discord, where our listeners can chat with each other, as well as members of our team about Young Justice, comics, and more. We even run a bi-monthly book club through our Discord with patrons voting on which book we'll be reading each time. And all of our patrons get the chance to submit questions when we have interviews with members of the YJ cast and crew. But whether you can support us monetarily or not, we just really appreciate you listening to Whelmed. And you can always help support the show for free by rating and reviewing the podcast wherever you listen, or even just sharing it with your friends. Aside from news about our Patreon, we also have some updates about Whelmed itself. So here's what you can expect from the show over the next few months. As we've said before, we're going to be holding off on episode deep dives until after the end of season four. We want to be able to see the big picture of this season before we try to break down each individual puzzle piece. And since we can't do scream somethings without new episodes to talk about, for the next few months, we'll be focusing on discussion sessions with awesome guests, hopefully even including some YJ cast and crew members, though we can't make any promises on that front just yet as well as some other possible bonus episodes like our Elseworlds reviews and things like that. Next week, you'll be able to listen to a new blooper reel with over a year's worth of us messing up, cracking up, and going on ridiculous tangents. And after that, we'll be diving into discussion sessions and such on our usual bi-weekly basis. 
There's also been a lot of questions directed at me and Neil about if and when Rich will be returning to Whelmed. As all of you probably know, after we wrapped up our reviews for season three, Rich decided to take a sabbatical from the show. It takes a lot of work to keep Whelmed running, and he needed to take a break to take care of himself, his family, and not get totally burned out by what we do. Then, of course, real life stepped in. The world entered a global pandemic, and the stress of that, combined with Rich's own personal and work life, made him decide that he needed to make his break from Whelmed more permanent, and he won't be returning to the show as co-host. We're all still friends, we all still talk, and Rich still shares his thoughts on Young Justice with us after new episodes come out, which you've probably heard us mention in some of our more recent Scream Somethings. But even when we move into doing deep dives for season four, you won't be hearing Rich the way you have in the past. As much as I'm sure you'll all miss hearing Rich, because I know I miss recording with him too, I hope you'll join us in wishing him all the best and stick around to hear me and the wonderful Neil discuss all things Young Justice. Now, after all that, thank you to everyone for spending a little time with us today. If you'd like to join us in discussing this incredible series, you can find us on Twitter at the YJ Files, on Facebook at Crashing the Mode, on Tumblr at the YJFiles.tumblr.com, and on our website, CrashingTheMode.com. You can also find us on YouTube, Stitcher, and iHeartRadio. If that isn't enough for you, you can even email us at whelmedpodcast at gmail.com. If you would like to support our show, please consider sharing it with a friend or joining our chats on social media. You can also support the show by giving us a five-star review and or rating on Apple Podcasts or your podcatcher of choice. The ratings, comments, and subscriptions really do help others find the show. And if you do leave us a review, please let us know at our email address or in social media, especially if you live outside the U.S. since we have to look a lot harder to find those ones. If you are able to support us monetarily, you can consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash crashing the mode, as I said before. Even $1 a month can help us bring you even more awesome discussion sessions, interviews, reviews, and more. And remember, stay whelmed, everyone. You've been listening to Whelmed, the Young Justice Files podcast. Our computer is voiced by Madison Ray. Our theme was composed by Emily Mio. Our logo was created by Kevin Bates. Whelmed is a fan-made podcast and is not officially affiliated with DC Comics, DC Entertainment, Warner Brothers Animation, and any other owners of Young Justice or its related source material. As such, these companies have sole ownership of all symbols, images, names, logos, and proprietary material related to Young Justice. Original content of this podcast is ours under Creative Commons. Thanks for listening, and stay whelmed.